it was a great week for tech enthusiasts industry and basically everyone that follows apple more closely at the wwdc 2025 developer conference apple announced revolutionary new changes that revolve around its new liquid glass design language and this is not just for iPhones it's across the product lineup from the apple watch to the ipad mac os and much more but more importantly today i am excited to talk about ios 26 especially the kind of features that are coming to apple carplay and it's not just visual overhaul here and there there are some meaningful features to to make your driving experience even better so let's dive in and check what are these new features okay so we are now into the apple carplay interface and the very first thing that you can notice over here is the liquid glass ui elements present on the home screen on the widgets you've got a nice translucent look over here and uh, then what you can do is you can go to settings you can go to appearance and you can customize the icons as well so you have the default option you have the dark and black options and now you have the clear icons as well something that liquid glass design on iOS 26 has introduced you can go with light you can go with dark as well so that will add a little bit of more dark shadows over there but i prefer to go with light for now and this is uh, basically how the ui will now look like when you scroll through the menu icons it's all glass and transparent icons then once that is done once we jump out you have this brand new minus 1 screen which brings widget now depending on the screen size on your car it will display either two or three widgets i have a 10 inch display on my car and these widgets can also be customized uh by going into the settings uh, in carplay options on your phone and you can add uh, a number of widgets over here as you can see i have uh quite a lot of things in <laughs> my to do list i have uh, groceries to kind of you know order and uh, maybe a couple of other things as well uh it's here as well i can uh, check uh, some of the top stocks <laughs> and how it's performing indices and all i get to see the battery percentage as well for my devices uh followed by over here you have this uh, news widget uh, i don't know what this reels widget is from instagram and what it does but yeah uh, some of the uh, whatsapp recent conversations that uh, happened so a lot of things have changed over here as well in the minus 1 screen which was not present before so another interesting feature is uh something that uh will let you control the menu options and navigating through the ui hands free uh so what you can do is you can go to settings you can uh, then go to accessibility and over here there is something called voice control so you click here and the voice control is enabled and you see this icon over here so what i'm going to do right now is maybe i'll go to the maps app and let's try it out swipe up swipe down swipe left swipe right go home swipe left swipe left open google maps go home so as you can see this is how you can control the navigation while uh, driving with your voice which means little distractions so the next feature is also kind of an interesting one uh, where you've got a new calling interface as well so as you can see right now uh, uh my maps app has uh, kind of taken the entire screen but earlier when you used to get a call this screen would go off and you would just get a calling screen 
but now what apple has done is something very brilliant it does not take the entire screen you have this small uh, widget over here it's a floating widget which sits on top of ui so yeah once you want to get a call you can just uh, answer the call or decline it from there without distracting this interface now apple has also introduced this new widget over here which is called live activities and i just ordered something from an quick commerce site and it's going to get delivered in like six minutes at my place but uh, yeah it's a very cool and neat feature where uh, you can see and you can stay basically on top of things uh, for uh, something like this food deliveries and all so i think that's also a very neat feature and finally apple has also made some refinements like once you go to the apple music app uh, you now see the recently played songs over here you have this new releases you have radios you have library so accessing your playlist and the pinned playlist over here artist album everything is kind of made simpler and easier and i kind of like this new uh, new design as well as all these new features that apple has introduced so what are your thoughts on this new carplay interface and all the features that i just showcased which one are you most interested about when you go out on a drive next let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one